and the why of rollups. Now, you've probably heard of a bunch of different types, and how do we even decide what what uh, what to build on, what makes them different? Um, and so. I think probably the first thing you've probably heard of is optimistic versus ZK rollups, right? So I think the thing to note specifically, again, we talk about data availability. When we pose that back data back to Ethereum, how do we prove it's true, right? So there are two approaches. Optimistic rollups came first. What they do is optimistically assume that data is valid. So they implement something called fraud proofs. What this means actually is when we do something called withdrawals, so withdrawals being bringing like ETH from the L2 back to the L1, they have to implement something called a challenge period. So a challenge period is seven days, basically where it's locked up and gives the community to opportunity to essentially dispute the transaction. And so what that looks like is it say, hey, I want to dispute that within the seven days, and then we will submit a fraud proof, validate that fraud proof, and then if it's good, then we're good to go. If we're bad, then oh no, you know. Um, the downsides of this, right, is a few things, right? It requires at least one honest node. So obviously there has to be a good person, I guess, going through and doing the fraud proofs. The other thing is this needs to post all the transaction data back to the L1, right? Because what it does, needs to do is like recreate the history of everything going on. Um, so that is something I will touch upon when we talk about ZK rollups, right? So ZK rollups was kind of the next phase of rollup architecture. Um, this is when we think about, okay, rather than optimistically assume, let's actually submit something called a validity proof upon submission of that data back to Ethereum. And so what this does is allows us to like create mathematical guarantees around validity, um, creating safer trust assumptions, security guarantees, as well as when I talked about finality before with the challenge period, you don't have to do that, right?